In the Houston area, as emergency officials are inundated with water rescue calls, thousands of volunteers are taking matters into their own hands, hoping to save as many people as they can. Fox 7's Ashley Paredes has the latest from Spring, where a staging area was set up earlier today. Volunteers are risking their lives to save others, something Christy Escamilla and her parents say they will be forever grateful for. There's a car over there that's underwater. And right down the street, there's a truck that's underwater. So it's like either way, we were going to either get out or going to be stuck there. And I don't, I didn't want to be stuck there. Rising floodwaters have turned Houston streets into rivers. Widespread flooding caused by Tropical Storm Harvey. Despite the risk, volunteers continue to come help in droves with boats of all sizes. They launched one staging area at I-45 in Cypresswood Drive in Spring, Texas, just 25 miles from downtown Houston. It is just one rescue after another. Over 100 people rescued just today in over 40 to 50 animals as well. Now we're in the North Hill subdivision. Just take a look. These homes are completely submerged underwater, and the only way to get to them is by boat. From children to the elderly to even cancer patients, the Harris County Sheriff's Office is helping coordinate the rescues. Fox 7 rode with them by boat through the North Hill Estate subdivision, going door to door, making sure no one was left behind. I don't want them to make an error for material things and wind up losing a loved one that they cannot replace. Cars, houses can be replaced. Family members can't, and I just don't want them to make that mistake and regret it later on. Many residents have never experienced something like this before, since they don't live in a floodplain or flood-prone area. This is beyond what anybody could have imagined. Resources from all over the country are being brought in. Fox 7 ran into the FEMA Colorado Urban Search and Rescue crews along the way. We're trained to do uh, search and rescue in destroyed buildings. Uh, we've obviously, we've got these boats that we can help with uh, waterborne rescues, and then we can provide um, uh, a certain amount of medical assistance and a certain amount of uh, supplies and just be uh, hands on deck if they need them. Everyone is bracing for more flooding over the next few days, but hoping to lean on each other to get through this together. And that was Ashley Paredes uh, reporting there from the Houston area.